Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now August 2nd of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very skeptical about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm and exactly how both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are really going to handle everything moving forward. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that yes, we do know that they are now in a position where they must have a high success rate with their new Star Wars movies, their new Star Wars TV shows in mind as well, in order to really get the ball rolling again when it comes to this new Star Wars franchise, this new expanded universe, if you will, mind you. Now, the thing about Bob Iger and Chapek is that the two Bobs, as I like to call them, are really working hard to deliver as much authentic Star Wars material as possible by George Lucas, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni, as I like to call them FFL or LFF. Uh, they're all working together as a team to really bring back a majority or a big chunk of Star Wars Legends and exactly how they can incorporate all of that into the current Disney canon in a very unique way. However, over the years, we know Star Wars really has been hit or miss by Kathleen Kennedy's leadership over at Lucasfilm. Thankfully, she no longer has creative control, at least for the most part for the time being. You know, she's only in control of the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series. She was recently fired from the animated Star Wars TV show for 2022 by George Lucas and Bob Chapek. Now, with that being said, what's really intriguing all has to do with actress Daisy Ridley. With both Disney and Lucasfilm now focused on the future of the Star Wars franchise, they are fully invested with their new Star Wars universe, as well as their new Star Wars trilogy of films. However, both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are working together as a team in order to create a better future for the Star Wars brand. However, during and after the premiere for The Rise of Skywalker, many of the creators and actors were actually engaging in interviews about the sequel trilogy to where Daisy Ridley was eventually questioned about The Last Jedi Backlash to where she apologized for being so silent on her stance with director Ryan Johnson's approach to the fandom. Daisy Ridley eventually was able to state that she was sorry that she never expressed her true feelings toward the film and that looking back at The Last Jedi now, it was a very difficult production for the cast and crew since they were not quite sure on how well the film would do given Johnson was making bold decisions. So that right there just tells you that the cast and crew is very worried about this movie. Daisy also went on to state that she is sorry toward the fans for mocking the Mary Sue slang for the character and essentially rejecting fans' opinions on Rey as a Mary Sue and that she says that all fans are entitled to their own opinion and how they feel for the character of Rey and that she feels the Rise of Skywalker put that Mary Sue term to rest for fans since she is considered a Palpatine and explains as to why she is so very powerful with little to no training in the sequel trilogy. Trilogy. Let me just tap into this for a second here, is that even Emperor Palpatine, all right, Darth Sidious, Chancellor Palpatine, he himself even had training under Darth Plagueis. To me, my stance on this is that every character, dark side or light, needs to have some form of extensive training to really kind of just express or to actually understand or explain, if you will, how they're so very powerful in the actual story. But, you know, I digress, you know, the fact that Daisy Ridley, you know, apologized in the Star Wars fans for rejecting the Mary Sue term toward Rey, I don't know if you guys remember, but a couple of years back, she was really, you know, going against the fans, against the Mary Sue term, and really did not like it at all, and was very against the fans even using that term, and felt that it was very offensive for the character. And now, you know, obviously she's apologizing for that because fans are entitled to their opinion. Obviously, I think that this has to do with the fact that she's no longer involved with the movies, per se, uh, the live-action movies. We do know that they're trying to get Daisy Ridley on board to voice the character of Rey for the animated sequel series of The Rise of Skywalker that'll take place in a post-Episode 9 era that is essentially a Rey Skywalker series, you know, in a sense. Now... The thing about this is that we also know that Daisy Ridley had a lot of issues with the rise of Skywalker, you know, given all the reshoots and the rewrites, she went through so many different scenes that she trained for, physically and mentally, all of it went to waste, a lot of it went to waste because of Kathleen Kennedy. 
Now, we do know that George Lucas had a lot of, you know, uh, problems with Kennedy. It's why he didn't show up at the premiere for The Rise of Skywalker. And that had a lot to do with the deleted scenes, you know. It had a lot to do with the footage that was actually excluded from the movie and never saw the light of day. So, Daisy Ridley's stance on the whole Mary Sue term and taking that back and apologizing to fans for really criticizing those fans for even using the term, you know, it really does open up, you know, one's eyes wide open now as to exactly what's going on with the cast and why they're being so vocal with their stance on Star Wars lately. Like I say, I think it has to do with the fact that the sequel trilogy is over, and now Star Wars is being focused on a more positive route. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>